God is my witness, whom I serve with the Holy Spirit and the gospel of His Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers, making requests by any means. Now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God. I'm a debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise, so that as much as in me I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. To everyone that believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, there is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. For God has shown it unto them. For the invisible things of Him whom the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. You see, Christ died on that cross. He died on that cross to save you today. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing, themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible, corruptible man, and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts, to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie, and worshiped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause, for this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their woman did change the natural use unto that which is against nature. And likewise also men, having the natural use of the woman, burn in their lust one towards another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves the recompense of their terror which was meek. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. God bless you. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, Wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiting, haters of God, despiteful. Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go. Just one minute. Yeah, it's three o'clock. If you want, we've got ten minutes.
I'll just wait a minute, yeah. yeah Being unrighteous. Backbiters. Haters of God. Despiteful, proud, boasting, inventors of evil things. Disobedient to parents. Without understanding. Without understanding. Without understanding. Without natural affection. Unmerciful. When knowing the judgment of God, the day which commits things are worthy of death. Shouldn't lie, shouldn't steal, shouldn't sleep around. Jesus Christ died on that cross. He shed his blood on that cross and gave his life on that cross and died on that cross shedding his blood for you. That's why he died. It cost him his life. It cost him his life as he died on that cross. He died on that cross and shed his blood. So that you could be forgiven today. But you have to repent. You have to turn away from the old life. You have to turn away from the old ways. That's repentance. You have to do it. Or face the wrath of God. You've got to repent. Turn around from the old way and turn to God and say, sorry for getting drunk. Sorry for sleeping around. Sorry, Lord. And turn to Jesus for forgiveness. Turn to Christ. And turn to Him as your Lord and Saviour. Turn to Him who gave his life and shed his blood. We do that today. The Son of God came down not to condemn but to save. He came down to be a savior. He says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes on him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Do you want everlasting life today? Everlasting life. To know that you're safe in the arms of God. To know that you're going to be with him in eternity. By trusting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. By knowing him as your Lord and Savior. It's gone now, isn't it? That's how we know we can get to heaven. Not by what we do, but by what He has done. By dying on that cross for you and me. God bless you. Thank you.